Hi everyone, let's discuss about the classification of phylum Cnidaria. Well, in our previous video, we have discussed the characteristic features of phylum Cnidaria. Now we will be discussing about classification. Uh, well, uh, chiefly on the basis of dominance of medusoid or polyphase in the life cycle, phylum Cnidaria has been divided into three class. So, what are these three class? The first class is class Hydrozoa second class is class Scyphozoa and the third class is class Anthozoa. Well, let's see uh, some basic characteristic features of class Antho Hydrozoa. Well, uh, Hydrozoa are mostly marine and few of them are freshwater means few of them live in freshwater also. They mostly live as solitary life but some of them also live in colonies. Well, uh, asexual uh, polyps uh, is the dominant phase in them. Medusoid phase actually uh, it may present or may not be present, but mostly asexual polyps are dominant in uh, them. Examples of hydrozoa are Hydra, Obelia, Picelia, and Tubularia. Okay. So what about the second class? So the second class is Scyphozoa, as you can see here. Scyphozoa are exclusively marine organisms. They live in marine waters only they are solitary also some of them are freely swimming okay uh, in them medusa is the dominant and it is large spell or umbrella shaped polyp is a short lived or it may be absent in them mesogalia is actually present in them and that is mostly cellular examples of class scyphozoa are aurelia orata uh, you also call that as jellyfish and rhizostoma now we have third class and the third class is class anthozoa as you can see here they are exclusively marine they also live as solitary life or sometimes they may live in colonies or some organisms of them live in colonies medusa stage is the uh, actually absent in them medusa stage is not present in them and poly, uh, polyformers are present in, uh, in them and that is the dominant stage Mesogalia in them contains fibrous connective tissue and amoeboid cells. Examples of class Anthozoa are Panitula, Tubepora, Madripora, and there are some other examples also. Well, this was uh, for classification of Phylum Annelida. Hope you have liked this video. Thank you very much, everyone.